Hi, hi, hi. I am. Hello. We've got another episode of Spong Vault. This time we're featuring the mighty ZX81. Uh, I say mighty. I think it's mighty. Uh, this ZX81 is a bit weird that I'm running this on. I'll explain later. You'll show it, see it in a minute. But those of you who know about ZX81s, I'll introduce you to them. Before I do that, let's uh, get the word out that I'm streaming. I need to do that. There, that's the thing that's happened. So enough. ZX81 was a computer that was released in 1981. It came with one kilobyte of RAM. That's right, one kilobyte. That's probably half a paragraph of the average email you send out. Well, emails? No one does emails anymore, either. I don't know. A fraction of the side of the average picture of a cat you send out on the internet? It's probably better. Um, it had no sound, hence the lack of headphones. <laughs> I have none. There's no sound that comes out of this. None. Um, so, because it's got no sound, don't need headphones. I am playing uh, one of the most seminal classic games on the ZX81. It's called 3D Monster Maze. And just to prove, I am indeed uh, running uh, on the ZX81. Running on the ZX81. I am not emulating this. I can't stress this enough. I am running on a genuine ZX81. Uh, it, it is in, in its always glory. You can just see that there. Uh, it's a bit of a monster. Um, let's just uh, wait for the stream. So we can see there's this thing and this thing. And can you see that? Yeah, I'm not sure if you can see that. But anyway, um, it's not um, it's not your average 81. That's, 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 that's for certain. It's not your average 81 at all. <laughs> so... Um, I'm going to play in 3D Monster Maze. I'm going to cheat a bit, all right? So this device, um, it's got a, it's a, there's something called a Chrome device. I'll come to that later. And a ZX Band Plus. Um, ZX Band Plus allows me to load games on the 81 with an SD card and does many other things as well. But that's its primary function. It also has 32 kilobytes of RAM. There was a 16, kil 16 kilobyte RAM expansion known as the Wobbly RAM Pack uh, for, for those in the know. Oh, uh, Video Costado, thank you for joining us. I appreciate it. Um, yes, I'm going to be playing this for an hour. Am I? No, I'm not. So, <laughs> a bit of a surprise. I'm going to be playing this for about half an hour or so, maybe. Uh, there's not much to uh, 3D Monster Maze, I'm afraid. You run around away from a, 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 a T-Rex. It is completely silent, completely black and white. This is a very basic machine, but it's very seminal. It's very important because this machine, without it, there'd be no ZX Spectrum and all sorts of things. So it's an important machine, and that's why. The, so the cheating thing is well, we'll come to that in a minute. There's a bit of cheating going on from me, but I'm going to continue. So this is the bit where the, the clown comes up and sort of welcomes you to the experience. As a clown, that is a clown. It is a clown. Get all excited. Need a drink of water. Yeah. So it's the last Sunday of summer, apparently. Pretty summertime changes over to... Uh... So, fast! It's gone fast now. That's why the screen's gone black. Don't worry, it hasn't crashed, hasn't died. It's just thinking about it. And when it thinks about things, the ZX81 is such a basic machine, despite all the add-ons I've put on it. So basic that it can't actually display anything on the screen while it's thinking. I'm not kidding. Certain processing, you actually need to speed it up and actually turn it off. So, uh, Rex lies in wait. Now, have you noticed that normally, those of you who know, uh, on the ZX81, you actually play it using the keyboard because that's how the machine had no joystick ports at all. All it had is four ports in it, five. Uh, one for the TV out and the ear mic for the tape loading, and then one for the power. And then there was a big expansion port at the back. Well, because I'm using the expansion port, I can use a joystick. Don't judge me. I'm going to... Sorry, don't judge me. Fine, judge me. So I'm using my Sega Master System D-pad to control a ZX81 game. I know, it's heretical. I can see you out there pointing at me, accusing me of cheating. You're right, I am, but I don't care. It makes this game way easier. Anyway, so I'm going to turn around. You've got to run away, basically. You've got to find the exit. 
And the only you don't really you have no weapons. The only weapon you've got is to run and your own sense of ability to run away. So he's seen me. So I'll just keep on keep on running. Just keep on running. There's no sound. No sound. So on oh, the dead end. Bad. There it is. No. 240 points. 240 points. It's pitiful. Uh, but we should continue. Okay. Ah! Damn it. <laughs> You'd think it'd be quicker to turn around with this, wouldn't you? You think. But no. No, it's not. Um, very disappointing. But let's continue. I do get better at this game, actually. I found. Um, so, how do you get out? How do you win? There is a way... Oh, shit. There is a... <laughs> there is a way of winning. You find the exit. When you find the exit, the, the map resets, and you continue. It doesn't stop. So, I'm going to turn around. Oh, come on. This is, this is how it goes. I'm not kidding. This is how this goes. There's not much to this game, but this is a first-person game. It is an actual first-person game. You know, it's, a, you know, it's it was amazing for its time. People lost their minds over this game when they played it because it was going really, really fast for a machine that only had 16 kilobytes of RAM. As long as you had, because it needed 16k to run, it wouldn't run on the basic machine. It needed that wobbly RAM pack to to work. Uh, but you know, it's it it needed a lot of uh, oomph to get it going. You shouldn't really acknowledge all the stuff, all the paraphernalia I've got bolted onto my eighty-one. I mean, don't worry about it. It's doing things, um, and uh, it's there are things it can do that more than as anyone can't do. We'll talk about that later, and I'll show you later what it can do. But we're going to carry on playing this game. It's seminal because it's an FPS. Well, not the it's an FP. Oh, cool! Come on. I mean, it's just so terrifying at the time. <laughs> I'm embarrassingly bad at this. And I'll just do some techie check things. I want to make sure that you guys can hear me. Yes, you can. Good. I just want to make sure that was the case. Right. So, we should continue playing. It's really weird playing a game that's silent. Normally I have headphones on, but not today. Um, so, yeah. Oh, come on. I'll get it in a minute. Hang on. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Rex lies in wait. Okay. So the exit's in a cul-de-sac. Which is like him. So, it looks like a dead... There it is! That's the exit. I just found it by accident. Um... So I've got three other points for finding it, and it goes into this strange. So one thing about the ZS81, it didn't have much in the way of graphic capabilities, if anything. Later on in its life, um, it did have um, it did have some. Uh, the ZS81, there were people managed to to display high resolution graphics, or higher resolution graphics on the 81. But um, I'm playing games here that don't really exploit those. Uh, those capabilities. Um, I was going to go into that, but I'm playing a game. Sorry, uh, uh, that uh, that doesn't exploit that. It's all based on the original graphics, but still, uh, for its time, it was quite impressive what they were, what they were, what this game does. It's, it's pretty incredible. Not sure where to go. Using the D-pad makes it life a lot easier, uh, I've got to say. I think I've just got in a circle. Oh, come on! <laughs> 425 points! Not bad, not bad. Let's, keep, let's carry on, let's try another game. Okay. What's that thing you're meant to go right all the time? And I'm going left. That's not a good idea, is it? I'm going to go right this time. Rex is lying in wait. The, the the mazes get tougher and tougher. They get more and more complicated. But my sense of direction is so poor that I have no idea. 
He only gets points when he's seen you and you're running away from him or running into his jaws, as I just did then. Wow. Anyway, what's it doing? Yes, continuing. Like I said, there's not much to this game. All you have to do is move through a maze, and this is a maze if you can make it out. Uh, I know, it's pretty basic graphics, but all you do is move them through a maze and you just have to make sure you avoid contact with T-Rex whilst getting out. I'm going to try the go right all the time and see what happens. Didn't work. Managed to get away from the T-Rex though, eh? Come on. Granted, using the D-pad makes it way easier. Because back in the day, there was no joysticks or anything like that, really, initially, for the AT-1. There was no ability to do that. There were add-on cards, eventually, that did support it. But initially, nothing. No joy. You just had to put up with the keyboard controls. Now, the keyboard controls... Are, oh, the thing about the ZX-81, it didn't have a keyboard. Well, a touch. It was a touch keyboard. Uh, and it's even worse than the Spectrum one. So there's no, the only way you know you're pressing something is something would appear on the screen. You simply had to just depress and hope for the best that it would react. It wasn't great and it's awful to program on, but it was still a functioning computer. I personally believe that the ZX81 was, uh, is and remains uh, calculated with delusions of grandeur. <laughs> sorry, sorry if you're 81 fans out there. Until you do add the things on that I'm going to show you later on, but not yet, not yet. So, let's see, he is hunting for me. Very, very fast game, first person thing, generally regarded as the grandfather of all first person games. Really cool. And I'm happy to show it to you. Oh, come on, let's go up here. I just don't, I haven't got a sense of, uh, I'm not very good with directions. I mean, I find the exit more by accident than anything. I don't find T-Rex by accident, I do. He just hunts me down. Most annoying. So I'm pressing C here for comp. Just like in the Spectrum, if you're familiar with Spectrum, each key has lots and lots of functions on it. Loads of them, in fact. It's quite difficult to fathom them out. And the uh, the um, device that I'm using, the ZX Band Plus, ZX Band Plus does lots of things, oh, more than just an SD card loader, I'm happy to say. Come on. Come on! I was trying to run in and then nip it. No, it's gone. Okay. Interesting. If you press stop, which is the A button on the AT1, as an X81, uh, the game just crashes, boots you off, which is really quite funny. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's have a look. I'm gonna go left this time. It does generate a new maze every time. It's very clever. I mean, this is written in very advanced sort of machine code, as type well, assemblies is now known. Because if you wrote this in basic on 81, it would not be able to go this fast at all. It would just fall over. And, you know, I'm, I'm peached as peach that I can still play this game on my ZX81. And this is a fully fun... I mean, honestly, it really is. I'm not emulating this. I'm running it on an 81. Uh, so it's machines over 30 odd years old. So it's pretty, pretty awesome that it's still running. Um, 36 years old, believe it or not. Um... The games weren't nearly as good as they the, the were on the Spectrum, but there were some games that they released on it later on in its life, which I'm going to... Actually, I'm going to show you some homebrew games that remained... Oh, come on. I do like the way the animation is. It's pretty cool. That's why I let it happen. I could have run away, but I didn't. Um, what I was really impressed by is there's some later games that come out uh, in the mid-2000s, mid uh, very recently, a couple, two or three years ago, um, that... Uh, Exploit some of the hardware that exists. For example, you can actually get Dragon's Lair running on an AT1. Um, 
with an ZX band expand, uh, device. You can't do it on a 81. You need the ZX band into it because it reads the the data from the ZX band uh, off the disc. Oh come on! I knew I'd gone wrong. I need to focus. I need to focus. I'm actually usually way better than this. I'm just not not concentrating. This is a common complaint that most streamers, like myself, uh, I can't really just call myself a streamer, but I am. I guess. Uh, we can't really um, concentrate on what we're doing because we're constantly having to talk and think of things to say. Make it more entertaining. Run away! Run, Forrest, run! I'm sure people watching this go, you idiot, come on, you can do this. Go that way. No, that's not, that's not the exit. I thought it was. Because the exit looks like a dead end until you approach it. So it's really frustrating. Like, is it an exit? Is it an exit? I need to keep running. Because he's right behind me. I love using the D-pad. It makes the game way easier to play. Oh, come on. 450. I knew what I saw the points. I was over 400 points. Like, how am I still alive after that many points? Uh, so, let's continue. I am going to continue. The question is, am I going to be playing this for an hour? No. I know I normally stream this show for an hour, and that's fine. Uh, I normally stream a single game for an hour. That's how it works. That's the deal with Spong Vault at the moment. I think I'm going to be changing that in the new year, playing uh, games for much longer than that. But at the moment, it's an hour. But this game, difficult to really keep going for an hour. I'm a brave man to say it, and actually Costado said, did say that, you know, in the chat. And he's got me again. It's it's a bit, um, it's a bit much. So, uh, the second half of this show, I'm going to kind of play this for half an hour, okay? The second half of the show, I'm going to be playing some games that exploit the add-ons that I showed at the beginning of the show. So, uh, I've got something called Chrome, which is an add-on that turns... That allows the ZX81 to produce colour. Heretical, I know. But there are games that were made for this device. That I've actually downloaded. And I've actually put it on my ZX81. So we'll be playing those. And that's basically it. So at the half hour mark. As we always do on this show. Every half hour. Uh, sorry, that's not true. At the half hour mark, two things are going to happen. I'm going to change the game over. Uh, to I'm going to load these 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 other games that run in color on an 81. Still no sound though, uh, but they do run. They do have color with them. Uh, and uh, I'm also going to reveal the next game, uh, which will be streaming next week. Exciting. Uh, do remember that the clocks go back next week, so we'll be an hour earlier than normal. Well, not still same time. Oh, come on, really? Oh, oh, come on. I have dodged that bullet, didn't I? You almost got me. Focus, come on, focus, focus. I do know I'm going around in circles. And knowing that the exit lies in the end of a cul-de-sac is comforting, but it's just... It's discovering the cul-de-sac that's the problem where is it just no, come on <sighs> worse all right carry on Yes, I know you see me. This game is way less terrifying. Oh, damn it. <laughs> With the D-pad. But, damn it. I can do better than this. That's going to go the other way. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> no, don't, don't turn around. I'm not turning around this time. I think 
is right on my doorstep. I do think the Um As a side note, they do they did actually do a, a colour version of, of this game, but um it requires some conver conversion which I didn't get around to doing. Apologies for that. Would have been fun to see that. Um Oh come on. See if I was using the keyboard controls I would have panicked and you know just died. That no, it's not. I'm going back on myself now. It's gonna hurt. You have seen the exit once. Give me that. No. <laughs> I I meant to get better with these games, but my sense of direction and. Seeing where I'm going is just it just doesn't work very well. So Oh well, never mind. Come on. No, it's not a exit. You can see the exit a little bit more. Distance than that. Still marvel at how my eighty one can still run this game. It's just amazing. No. Nope. Oh damn it! I knew he was right on top of me. I knew he was. Anyway, uh Run! I've done that before. Go right, go right. Oh, come on! I won't get out again. I'm going to get out again, I know it. He says confidently. Oh, come on! That was. <laughs> so, Casado saying in chat the game could use some kind of map or hint system to where, where the exit is. Uh, I guess. But it also relies on, you know, noggin to actually say, look, you know, you should be know where you're going, you should know where you've been. There's, but there is no indicator. So, you just got to, he's relying on your own sense of. Um, sense of direction. Some people are better at it than others. I'm just going to run. So, problem is now I've run off. That's not an exit. I'll find it in a minute. But you just sort of do, you randomly go from left to right, but there's a problem that you might end up going in circles, which is the worst thing you want to do. See, that's not an exit either. It's, it looks like a dead end initially as you approach it. That's the thing with this game. It looks like a dead end, but it turns out it's not. I oh, know it's not, cause that one's not, because it's not. Cul de sac. I think I dismissed it then. Once I reach about 400 points and haven't found the exit yet. There. I'm too late. I mean, how did I know? How did I know it's going to be there? I'm not saying this game's perfect. It's not. Far from it. There's lots of problems with it. However, it's very important. This game is very important. That's why I'm streaming it. So I'm recording a video about it because it's important. People, you know, do talk about it in 
favourable terms because it it was a, it was a game that existed in the eighty one unlike any other. It was wasn't it was quite weird and very uh, advanced for its time. So yeah, it uh, it was certainly um, you know it's important. So that's why I'm, I'm I'm streaming it. I could have streamed a whole number of eighty one games, and indeed I am going to be after the half hour mark because I can only stand this for so long. Uh, because I do mean stand. It's not great. I'll try and go down here. No, stop it. See, I'm trying to think about it now. No, that's not an exit. I thought it was. I was hoping. That's not one either. You've already seen one. It's weird. Sort of like kaleidoscope of characters. Well, I know the only reason I know about the cul-de-sac thing is I've read the manual. The thing about games of this age is you have to read the manual in order to get the most out of them. If you don't, yeah, it all falls apart. Oh, come on! See, five eighty. So I've got five eighty points because I avoided him for that long. So Costado is arguing that this is the only important game on the platform. I can't agree with you on that, um, and I will show you why. It's not the only important. It's one of the most important games on the platform. I agree, but they did release Manic Miner on it. They did release a few other games on it, uh, and I'm going to be showing a few of them uh, in a few minutes now. Because we've only got about two or three minutes left of the half hour mark, and also, you know, reveal the next game. Um, but um, there are a few others. Anyway, let's. There's a game that's very similar in style to this one. Uh, not in visuals, but the, the concept of the game is very similar. Um, so I won't go any further details about that, but we'll be playing it later on. Very soon. Damn it. I mean, I just, oh, come on! Not fair. Okay. Really not good for speed play this game. It just doesn't stop. You just gonna have to get the most points. That's all there is to it. Sometimes Rex lies in wait. And when he's doing that, you don't get any points. It's down here. No. You can't go backwards, by the way. You only go forwards. Oh, come on! No, no, no. A couple of minutes yet. Give it a couple more minutes, then we'll change the game. Uh, I'm going to show you some colour games on the 81, which sims... Sounds horrific, but not horrific, heretical. But they do exist. The wretches see me, and so like, like I said, back in the time, back in the day, this is seen as just mind-bogglingly amazing. Come on, beard, beard, no, no. Not one. Oh, <laughs> I will continue. I feel like playing Cuphead right now. That'd be more, you know, less difficult. Because, I mean, Costado's right. There's no aid. You don't get any aid at all. You've just got a, got a sense of a direction. <laughs> and if you get a sense of direction, you might win. Uh, okay, let's keep going. End of a cold is that? I think. Oh, hang on. What's this? Nope. That's not it. That's not the end of a cul de sac. No, nope, that's not it either. Come on. I found it once before. Oh, 
<laughs> didn't see him coming then. Actually didn't see him coming. All right. Um, one more go. One more go. And then we'll we'll switch over to the other games I have in mind. I went the other way this time. He puts you kind of in a weird place in the map. Oh, come on. Fine. Fine! Fine. That's 3D Monster Maze. So, Costado is arguing that uh, there, there's only one <laughs> important game, uh, and he said there are later games that were released. This is true, which I'm about to show you. Um, but there was a couple that at the time that were released that weren't um, coloured or anything like that, but they were very important as well. And one of them I'm going to be showing you uh, as well as this one. Thematically, it's similar to this one, but it's not the same. Um, there's also Star Trail. Um, that was a really, really cool game that I loved back in the day. Uh, that's called Super Programs 8. And there's a couple other games as well. But we're going to be playing those. So I'm going to hit stop and see what happens. Appeal accepted. There you go. So if I do cat. So what I've done there is cat. It's, cat is not a standard com command on the 81. Um, doesn't really exist. So, <laughs> but it, when I've put the ZX band, it suddenly does work. Um, so there's the list of games we've got. Mazogs is the game I was thinking of, Costado. Mazogs is a game that uh, also came out in '82, uh, and that uh, that featured um, mazes and stuff, and that was pretty pretty impressive. But we're not going to play that. We're going to load another game. We're going to load Rebound. Rebound is a game that was released in 2014, I think. Might be a bit later. Very, 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 very recent game. And uh, there's a reason I'm going to play that today. As well as, the, I mean, there's there's also Zedexagon. That's what you think it might be. <laughs> Let's try and figure out what that is. We'll, we'll show. I haven't played it at all. I'm just going to give it a shot. Rebound! As you can see, it's in glorious colour. Glorious, glorious colour. Uh, it does support the joystick as well, so we're going to be using that again. Um, so just Bob stuff. It looks wonderful. It really does. I mean, the, it really looks amazing. I will point out there's no colour color clash either. Um, so yeah, it's yeah made in Creative UK, which is lovely. So, 2014, yeah, Bob's Stuff in 2014, that's when it came out. So, I'm going to redefine the keys. So, I'd hit R. So, I'm going to hit left, right, fire, and I'm going to put P for pause, because that makes sense to be. So, by the way, uh, this is actually a version of. Um, oh, God. Breakout, maybe? I don't know. So, yeah. Let's give it a shot. So it's very, very smooth action. You see, left and right, really smooth. Bright, bright colours. It looks ostensibly like a Spectrum game, but it is not. It's very much an 81 game, just happens to be in colour. So now I can shoot. Ball movement's a bit wobbly. Very wobbly, in fact. Now the ball sticks to my back every time it uh, lands on me, so it's pretty cool. Oh, denied. Here we go. It's a lovely game. I like it anyway. Um... What have we got in chat? So Costado has agreed with my Mazog's declaration. I think I've got points for that. But this is running on 81, a genuine ZX81, yet here it is in colour. The 81 couldn't display colour at all. So 
So now I've got three balls. I'm only going to successfully get two of them, I think. No, uh, one. So, yeah, that was bound to happen. But it does look fantastic. Really impressed. So where did I get this device from? Oh, I can't remember. I bought the Chrome add-on maybe two or three years ago. I think so, something like that. And I thought, well, since we're playing 3D Monster Maze, I thought I'd um, show off. Oh, come on, really? <laughs> oh, piffle. It's always a case of breakout games, isn't it? You just can't quite get the last block. No, missed it. This is entertaining. Come on, do this. I tried to put a spin on it. It does work, but the, the ball does wobble around like a thing. Ah! Oh! <laughs> right, if I just stand underneath it and just get it. There you go. <laughs> um, so, um, Costano's asking if I have the AY expansion to. Yes, I have the ZX Band Plus. The ZX Band Plus has all of that built in, Costado. So it has sound and it has a joystick port to it as well. But I'm only using ZX Band to load games via SD card at the moment. So this wall's a bit low. Don't like this wall being that low because now I've got to react very quickly. But this is... Um... Oh, look, I've got it bouncing around. It's really a triumphant thing to do that. Awesome, awesome, awesome. There you go. There you go. Bouncing up and down like this. I mean, there's picking up those things is a classic example of risk reward. Can you get to them before the ball goes away? Um, I don't know. I can shoot things. Make life a lot easier for me to destroy. The wayward blocks that I can't get to. So I didn't bother with the bonus points. I just wanted to keep the ball, in, the bat in the thing. Do this. Do this. Just did it before the ball hit the. Yeah, nice one. Ooh, big space invader thing. And it looks fantastic in color. I mean, yes, there's no sound. I grant you that. There's no sound, but it's still quite impressive. Um, so where do I source these add-ons? Um, you can't get this stuff on eBay. That's all gone now. eBay's a bit of a toxic place these days for retro gear. I have found that uh, I bought this from something called Sell My Retro, which is... Um, oh, come on. Almost. Yeah, uh, Sell My Retro, which is a great um, oh, repository of add-ons and things and that kind of thing. So it's pretty cool. Um... I don't want to do that. Strange how all the characters all we've got a bit squiffy. Look, they're all a bit weird. Strange. It might be something to do with, I don't know, something's gone off. Look, they're all a bit weird. Look. Very strange. Let's do it again. There might be a, a toggle that I haven't turned on the uh, 81 with. I don't know. Arkanoid! That's right, this game's a bit like Arkanoid. That was the game I was trying to remember what the name was. There you go. Ooh. Ooh. Not good. <laughs> Inept play of this game. Oh, wait a minute. I haven't told you what the game I'm playing next week. Well, I'm going a bit of extreme, a bit of a celebration of a platform that um, that uh, many people were quite... Oh, God, that's terrible. Uh, <laughs> um, what time have we got? Okay, let's go to the next game. I don't think I'm going to use joystick on the next game. I'm going to play Mazogs. 
But this version of Magzogs is going to be a little bit different. I'm just going to hit the reset button there. Uh, and just do cat again so I can see. So I'm going to have to use the keyboard. So forgive me, I'm going to be leaning over on the keyboard in a moment. Um, but um, what we're going to do is uh, playing Genji Days of the Blade. Now, Genji Days of the Blade was a launch title on the PlayStation 3. So we'll be playing the PlayStation 3 game. Um, I had a lot of doubts about what game to play. I was going to try Ridge Racer 7, but I realised we've already streamed Ridge Racer, a Ridge Racer game, on the N64. So I went, nah, let's not do that. Even though I really like Ridge Racer 7, I decided not to do it. And instead, go for Genji Days of the Blade, which is notorious. Notorious because it's the game that has historical giant, historically accurate, as I say, giant enemy crabs in it. If you just go back, it's a meme that existed in video game history. Just a presentation given by Sony revealing the PlayStation 3, and they talked about many things. Well, one of the things they did show is Days of the Blade, Genji Days of the Blade, which is a follow-up to a PS2 game, I believe. I might be wrong. And this game featured uh, historically accurate sort of battles from, uh, from the period that included giant enemy crabs. Which is stupid. So yeah, it's uh, anyway. Let's just play Mazogs. Um, hit the weak point for massive damage, as Costado says. So we'll be hitting the weak point for massive damage. If you can get hold of a ZX, if you had a if you have a ZX eighty one, you owe it, and it still works. You owe it to yourself to get a ZX band. They are amazing, amazing. They just open you up your, your eighty one up to. You know, much easier to load. There's no tape loading. It's all gone. All the tape loading is gone. It's been replaced by this wonderful thing of you just sort of type load. And you can see what I'm about to do. I'm just hit load, Mazogs. And what you see on the directory is there is my, because my SD card is used for my Spectrum and my 81 because it's, it's huge. It can have all of the games. So um, there you go. Load Mazogs. Coloured in this year. This year it was coloured. So thank you for that. Um, but here it is, colour version of Mazogs. Um, fantastic little game. Really, really, really like it. Um, always liked it when uh, I, I played it back in the day. It's another maze game, but it's a little bit different. And uh, what we're going to do is... Um, sadly, we can't use... Like I said, I can't use this. I don't believe... I don't think you can use the D-pad on it, which is annoying because it makes it make life so much easier. Uh, I can't redefine keys. I can't seem to see how to do that. Uh, so I'm just going to press a key. There we go. Uh, I'm going to tr or face a challenge, manic. Yeah. So this is basically the skill level. I'm going to go try it out. Use keys W A D or W. W, S, H, and J. Oh, that's better. To move around the map. I'm going to do that. So press a key. Which way? Left or right? Which way, everyone? Left or right? Anyone? Anyone? No? Okay, fine. I'll go left. Checking distance. It's all very officious, isn't it? But it just does look... You get the sword. And you go running around, and you talk to these prisoners, you see, and they tell you where to go to find the treasure. You have to go through this, but I have to beat this thing up with my sword. Notice I'm using the keyboard. Uh, I cannot... So they, then what this does... Damn it. So now I'm going to refresh my memory. So there you go. Oh, I can actually fight this. So I'm going to give it a shot. It might not work. I might die. It it ate me. I died. Never mind. Death to all treasure seekers. That's something nice. Hit. This have, no, let's look, have another game, shall we? It's really colourful. It's, they've done a fantastic job of this. Uh, really, look at it. It's just it, this is. It looks like a ZX Spectrum game. It really does. 
But it's not. It's an 81 game. It's running through the Chrome system that allows you to go colour. So, we got. So, um, still going to try it out because I'm not very good. Okay. The, the maze is now being drawn. It's doing it in slow mode though, so I can sort of see the screen. But it's being nice. So there's still people developing and messing around with the 81, as you can see. Um, very small community, but still a vibrant one. That's really cool. I'm going to go. I'm going to go off to the left again, I think. Let's uh, check in distance. Situation report. 248 steps to the treasure. Okay. So let's get the sword again, see if we can find a prisoner. And what does the prisoner say? The prisoner tells me to go up and then across. I do have a very responsive keyboard, I'm happy to say. Like I said, this, this machine's over... You know, what's this told me? Uh, I'm gonna talk to him as well so he can tell me where the treasure is. I can't get another sword, which is very frustrating. But I am trying this, these, these, uh, punchy, punchy, punchy. If I have a sword, I'm more likely to actually kill it. There you go, I've won. But I did actually lose my memory, but I do have my sword. Let's see if I can talk to this fellow. Poor prisoner. But he wants me to find a treasure. So I'm going to find a treasure. Talk to him as well. My footsteps vanish as I as I talk to him. It's fascinating stuff. As you can see, like I said, it's very much the theme of this game is very similar to to 3D Monster Maze, and it's a top down sort of adventure game. It's still a Still a maze. I am going to avoid him. Um, yeah, like I said, there is a possibility you can win, but I don't want to take that. Oh, damn it! That's a, that was a mistake on my part. <laughs> Death to all treasure seekers! <sighs> um, so Costado says that the prisoners are very altruistic. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Let's have a look at the maze. Where they go? I think you can scroll along it. Yeah, you can. Very slowly. So the tre... Oh, no, I don't know where I was. Oh, there I was. You can see the, the footsteps. So I was down here. So... Uh, yeah. What was the likelihood of me getting anywhere freaking near it? Fairly low. Yeah. Now I think I have to go down. No. No, I'm not sure where I was. Yeah, I was going to a place in the end of God. I should have gone up and then across. Might have been it. Okay. So, let's continue. It's, it's, it's great. It's game's great. So, Mazogs. Uh, it's a classic. Let's try it out again. Because I'm rubbish. Might try the different um, skill levels, but yeah. It is amazing that this is running on 81 though. I'm going to go right this time because left didn't work. I don't know what that means actually. But it is. One thing I would highly recommend if you do have an 81, make sure you've got the the um, foot pads underneath it that are still working or still, still there. You can actually buy replacements relatively easily. They're the same as the ones you get for Please don't send me back there. Oh, you haven't. You haven't. Okay, right. right. So hopefully I'll get a sword on the way. Can't. Oh, damn it. I'm going to have to just risk it for a biscuit. Come on. Come on. I have beaten those before. I have. Just saying. So there is a sequel to this called Maz Maziac, which Gustado is talking about. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, it was on the spectrum, I think, uh, and it had you could see more of the map, and it's a little bit more fair. 
But for this is an 81, pretty advanced stuff. I loved this game back in the day. It was up there with 3D Monster Maze and a few other games as well. Uh, there were some good games on the 81, but uh, yeah, not the Spectrum really ran rings around it eventually. Of course it did, of course it did. But this looks pretty amazing. I, mean, I love the colour, what they've done. Wonderful job, wonderful job. Can't, uh, can't praise them enough. I'm going to go a little bit more difficult, even though I haven't been successful so far. I'm going to make it a little, little bit more difficult. Uh, I'm going to go right again. So Castano relents that... Um, so I'm just reading this. You gain 80 for a kill. You lose 15 for each view. This report takes 10 minutes moves. So you can do a view. I'm literally not doing view. T to buy a, a sword. Oh, I see. Interesting. So you can buy swords, but you... Oh, I see. So you have to trade it in. That's a free one, that one. You get limited amount of moves. So if I do view, for example, that's what I could see. But that costs me moves to do that. I'm the letter A, by the way. Um, so I'll talk to him again. So move to do that. So, it's a bit like a, a board game. I play a lot of board games, you see. So it feels, you know, some of the rules and stuff feels like a board game, like limited number of moves and that kind of shenanigans. But yeah, because Castano's relented. They said, you know what, maybe, just maybe, there was a good version of Frogger on this machine. And he is right, there is a good version of Frogger. And guess what, they did a colour version of that too, but I haven't, I haven't loaded it. So, sorry. Uh, I haven't got much longer. I'm going to play one more game. It's not coloured though. This I don't think it is. But it is a very, very, very new game. It came out relatively recently. It's uh, inspired by a relatively new game too. There you go. Okay, one. I'm not sure why it's got one net now, but oh well. Never mind. Okay, let's keep going. Is that a mistake? I don't know. Might have been a mistake. Oh, damn it. Need a sword. Sorry. Just fed up with it. Need a sword, fed up with trying to, trying to, you know, just maybe, just maybe I can win without a sword, but no. So do another view, see if I, no, I can't. Really stuck. Just hit view again, did I, damn it. If I'm going to have to risk it. Yeah, okay. Weird it shows the sword even be fighting, even though the, you haven't got the sword. I won! I won! Yeah. I think your chances of... Oh, there's a sword. There you go. I could have bought one. You're right, I could have bought one. Oh, oh. I think they, they leapt on me then. We've got five minutes left. I want to show you the last game I've downloaded. It's probably be the end. Hey, I won. Got to keep going. You never know, I might even get the treasure. Okay. Right. I don't go north. I go, I go south at this point. Otherwise, I would have wasted some moves. Ooh, just just the person I want to talk to. Please don't send me back. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. <gasps> Yay! Now I've got to find a way out. So when you get a treasure, you can't fight anything. Um, 
So anyway, I didn't really look at that, did I? I've got a treasure that's blinging. See, on the 81, it just had grey boxes blinging on you. But uh, not this time. Where am I supposed to go? Tell me. Thank you. Might actually do it. This is high difficulty as well. Hmm. I keep going that way. That was a mistake. I need to go back. Um, by the way, the Chroma uh, add-on actually does do RGB output, which might, which is why the screen output is amazing. Uh, it does make life a lot easier. Okay, I should go up. Yeah, keep going to the third one. C3 wants to most get it done with that kind of hint system, you know, like, come on, give me a break. Well, I could do you. Please don't send me back. No, I'm not. I'm going back. He can do something rather drastic. And uh, I know I'm going over the hour, aren't I? Come on. <laughs> Get in! Seventy. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm going to say it. I'm going to drink to that. Even if it's just water. It's a cracky little game. It really is. Anyway. Let's do the one last game I wanted to show you. Um, so I have to cat it again, don't I? I need to know what it is. It is ZX X, X, uh, ZX on. ZX Aegon. Um, it's Super Hexagon. <laughs> now, I played Super Hexagon on the C64, um, but I haven't played it on the ZX81, so I haven't played this at all. I don't know how this version works. I'm not sure it even supports this. It might do. Um, but let's give it a shot. So, before we sign off. Uh, there it is pressing the key Bob stuff again like Bob stuff don't think it supports colours you can see it's not in colour uh, Conan Graphs of Bob Bob Smith is released with full permission of the copyright holder it's a non-commercial use only so it's based upon Super Hexagon by Terry Kavanagh Genius that he is, I think. He makes amazing games. So, um... Oh, okay. Difficult to see what's going on. I think it's constantly turning. Oh yeah, it is constantly turning, I get it now. So it does use the joystick. Cursor left and right, so I'll try that. So it's done music though, it's a bit weird. You know, it's best to have music with this game because that's the whole point of Super Hexagon, in my opinion. You need the tunes. <laughs> it's a bit strange. Hmm. 
time. Yeah, I can't get to can't get to the menu. Yeah, it. Oh damn it! Yeah, I'm not sure about this version. I'm not sure. It it's constantly moving. I'm not sure why it's constantly moving. Actually, it might be something to do with the joystick interface. What I'll do is I'll I'll t no, I won't turn it off. <laughs> go after turn it off. Oh, go after turn it off. Oh, sorry, because I took the joystick out. I'll take take the thing out. So bear with me. Ah. Back in again. Okay. Um. So load Z X A gone. I think it might have something to do with the didn't like the joystick interface. So Yeah, it didn't no oh, made no difference. Something's wrong. Something's a bit weird. Yeah, I'm not sure why it's constantly moving, so definitely Yeah. Oh well. <laughs> I, I'm I'm at a loss. Um So Costado is suggesting I put some music on. It's not like an eighty one. Well I can put some sound on it whatever. Um we're over time. Thank you very much for watching again. Next week, if you can bear it, you can watch me suffer through uh, Genji Days of the Blade complete with uh, hitting vulnerable spots for maximum damage of giant enemy crabs. Bye!